Sprig! Good. Sprig! Here! Good, Good job! Boy. Good job. And then we'll finish with one long one back here. Sprig! Here? Good. That's perfect. Hi, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and we're back with another Sprig video. This guy is six months old and it is about time we collar condition him for recall. Now, we haven't done this yet in his training because he hasn't been ready for it. We've been, uh, he's been very cooperative. He sticks around, he comes when he called. And now he's starting to venture out a little bit more, be a little more confident. And it's just a good time to work this into his training. So we're gonna talk a little bit about, come on, lazy bones. We're gonna put his collar on. I'm gonna put uh, a couple fingers in here. I'm gonna cinch this down, it's gotta be snug. Distractions. And then uh, tuck up our strap out of the way, good. Now, we are in an enclosed area, which is where I would recommend that you guys start this. If you've got a backyard, a fenced in area, or even just inside of a garage or a building, something that is controllable so that you have the ability to say, you can't run away from me. Now, most of you guys are gonna be doing with this with your puppies at a younger age, unless they are like Sprig and have um, a really, really high level of cooperation and willingness to please. Um, but today we are ready to work on it. So I'm going to grab some food rewards. We're going to bridge this. This is just again dog food he loves to eat. And so far we've been working on targeting. Hey, hey. he comes in and he gets some food. We're gonna build a little bit of reps that way. Hey, hey. good, good job. Just to get him used to coming in. Now. If you've been following along, you've seen we've already started collar conditioning with him via place training. So he's the collar isn't a brand new thing. We're just going to overlay this with what you just saw there. So I am going to do my best to lift my hand up so you can see when the collar turns on and my hand will go down when the collar turns off. This is gonna give you as best as I can a visual on when you should be applying collar to your dog. So. Collar's on, good. As soon as he touches my hand, it shuts off. Now, we're still overlaying food here. This is gonna help to keep our um, excitement level up and desire to work up. Good. Now, we've incorporated the cue here already, so we can utilize that in this, here. Good, good job. Food coming in there. Now, you can already see He's pretty sticky to me. He's doing well with this here. Good. Which should be expected because we've already taught him how to come in and target. And this is a controlled low distraction environment here. Good. Good boy. Yeah. He loves to eat. We've got something that's keeping his focus, helping him continue to be willing to, here. Good. Helping him continue to be willing to train. Good job. Now, most dogs, like I said, are gonna get a little bit sticky like this. He's learned, all I gotta do is come to this guy and he's gonna reward me again. So we either have to spend a little bit of time waiting, allowing him to um, venture off, maybe sit down, walk around so that we can put a little bit of distance between us. And Spriggs says, good, good job. Couple more kibble here, good. Here. Good job, good job. We're keeping the amount of food pretty low, just one, two kibbles. We still have a lot of focus out of this guy, which is a big part of why we haven't done this yet, because he's so cooperative. Here, good. Now that he's starting to get a good understanding, um, his reps are happening happening normally. He's not acting strange or any adverse reactions to the collar itself. Good. We can start to build a better understanding of this by actually utilizing a second person. I've got Kat here with me. She's going to come out and help and we're going to call him back and forth. I'm going to run the transmitter. I'm going to give her a few 
uh, dog food crunchies. So she's got some rewards as well. And we're just gonna go ahead and call him back and forth between us. Spring, here. Good. Good. There you go, good job. Spring, here. Good. Now again, as soon as my hand comes up, that's when the collar comes on. So when I'm saying his name, we're turning the collar on and it shuts off as soon as he comes over and touches our hand. Spray, spray, here. Good. Good boy, good job. Ethan's also running the collar for me when I'm calling Sprig to me. It's important, whoever your collar operator is, is running it every single rep. We wanna use this as a way to communicate with Sprig. We're gonna use the collar as a way to condition this behavior and build more consistency because now we're gonna be able to utilize the collar to pull his focus when he gets distracted. He's already shown he gets what recall is, what here means, but when we have distractions, that's where we've got the e-collar that's gonna help us to redirect his focus and help him to exhibit that behavior, do what we're already asking, something he already knows. We're not teaching with the collar, we are just reinforcing this conditioned behavior. Here, good. There it is, waiting patiently, I appreciate it. Sprig, here. Good boy. Good. Good. Good job. Sprig, here. Good boy. You can see he's really doing a good job with this. Now let's see if we can do a little more distance. If you go up to the front of the pen. Hopefully they can still see me. I don't know. I'm sure. I just cut over a little bit. Sprig. Good. Sprig, here. Good, Good job. Boy. Good job. And then we'll finish with one long one back here. Sprig. Here. Good. That's perfect. We're going to call this a awesome first collar conditioning for recall session with Sprig. Good boy. Good boy. You can see that tail's wagon still happy about life. Collars aren't evil. As long as you're using them properly, you can accomplish a lot of great training a lot of great training. This is gonna help us to build consistency now that he's getting more outgoing and a little more independent in the field. But guys, if you are enjoying this video, make sure to throw a comment down there. Let us know what you think, what you wanna see next, as well as remember to subscribe, turn notifications on so you don't miss any of his upcoming videos. Also, social media, right? Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. We will keep these videos coming and we hope to see you on the next one.